Let's do Norse mythology Utgårda Loki part 1. My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Tur and Luke were out traveling behind the two bucks in his wagon when night fell and they stayed over with a farmer. Tu slaughtered both the bucks and started cooking the meat. He told the family not to damage the bones, but Shalva, the son in the family, did this anyway. The next morning Tor swung his hammer Mjölna and the two bucks reappeared as if nothing had happened, but one of them had a limp. Tu was furious and the farmer begged for mercy and offered his son Shalve and his daughter Röskva to be his servants. What Tu didn't know is that it was Luke who made Shalve cut the bone. They went on by foot and as the next night fell they took shelter in a cabin which was strangely formed. It had five aisles. They lay down in one of the aisles and tried to get some sleep but the ground kept shaking and finally Tor had enough of it. He got up and he found a giant sleeping nearby. Tu took up his hammer and hit the giant lightly on the head and it woke up wondering if a leaf had fallen on its head. The giant introduced himself as Skrymo and he was wondering if they had taken his glove which made the tour realize that what they had slept in was actually the thumb of the giant's glove. The giant screamer suggested that they would travel together and share provisions. The following night the giant lay down to sleep and he said that they could start eating from the provisions but Tor couldn't get the bag of provisions up. He then took the hammer and hit the giant twice in the head and again the giant woke up and asked what was that? Was that an acorn that fell on my head? The following day they kept on walking and Skrymo suggested that they could go to Utko, the giant castle which was nearby. He warned them though to behave because the ruler of Utko, Utko the Luke, was not happy about bragging little tiny people. Skrymo left them and the four in the company arrived at the gates of Utko and they had to look very 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 high up to actually be able to see the towers because this castle was really really high. They snuck in and came to the great hall and went up and greeted Utgårda Luke. Utgårda Luke said, you must be too from Asgård. We've heard some about you and you must be stronger than you look. Are there any sports that you and your friends understand? Because in order to be accepted into this hall, you have to be better than someone else at something. The giveaway for the month of January is the Sweden cap, which will keep you warm in the winter days. And to be eligible to get the Sweden cap, all you have to do is tweet any of my Norse mythology or 10 Swedish words videos out. Remember to include at Princeford my Twitter handle, but not in the beginning of the tweet. And at the beginning of February, I will let you know who won the Sweden cap. So thank you very much for watching and remember part two of this story will come out in two weeks. Check the playlist and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.